This is about when you, uh, when you stalk your ex on Facebook <laughs> and uh, when you're genuinely pleased that they've moved on. Sorry, I shouldn't lie in church, really, should I? Ces jours. I heard some rumors on the grapevine, some whispers down the phone line, and this digital age provides the ocular proof. No man's immune to being jealous, but I don't get overzealous. Cause what you do with your life now, baby's up to you. Sometimes a man can get stuck when he's scared of being grown up, confused by playing happy families. So I accept that times are changing with people rearranging. And there's a new man at your table up in Turnpike Lane. Now, I don't know the details, in fact, I've not thought very much about this at all. And I would hate to cast aspersions or be seen as cruel. Who cares if his hair is thinning, if he is home from work on time. Perhaps he even likes a few new bands he read about online. And so what if his eyes are close together? Cause you know, some even like that better. And if you can put up with that weird smile, then I'm sure it's fine. So good luck with your new man, I hope it goes to the plan. And that he's not run over by a train. Because like, I bet he is a nice guy. Like a really, really nice guy. In fact, he's probably the exact opposite of me. He's not fanatical, delusional, obsessive, or emotional. He wants a house, a job, a dog, when all I wanted was you. And even if he doesn't know the things that I know that you know I know, he's competent, polite, and drinks responsibly. So good luck with your new man, I'm sure it works out fine. Let's hope he's not struck down by the plague So that you can invite me to your wedding And from the front row you will see That he might be a lot of things but he's not me Thank you very much